In recent months, the global coal market has faced significant upheaval due to intensified U.S. sanctions against Russia. These sanctions, particularly focused on the coal industry, reached new heights in August 2024 when the U.S. Treasury Department added several major Russian coal producers to the specially designated nationals SDN list. This move severely restricts their ability to trade internationally, freezing assets and limiting financial transactions. The aim of these sanctions is clear. Disrupt a vital revenue stream for Russia, which relies heavily on coal exports to sustain its economy. As one of the world's largest coal exporters, Russia's position in the global market is now under threat, affecting not only its domestic production but also global supply chains, especially in regions like Europe and Asia Pacific that depend on Russian coal for industrial and energy production. Among those targeted are key players in the coal market, such as Evraz, which operates significant coal producers like Yushkuzbasu Gol and Raspadskaya. While Evraz has faced UK sanctions since 2022, the latest US actions tighten the noose even further. Other major companies like Meckel Mining, along with its affiliates, Southern Kuzbas and Yakutugol, have also been added to the sanctions list. This extensive targeting complicates Russia's coal export landscape, reducing access to international markets and escalating logistical challenges. The list continues to grow, significantly impacting Russia's capacity to export coal, which could lead to long-term repercussions for global supply and demand. The impact on Russian coal exports is expected to be significant, particularly in 2024 and 2025. The August sanctions alone affect about 10% of Russia's coal export volumes, compounding the 50% already restricted by prior U.S. actions. This mounting pressure may force Russian suppliers to reduce shipments to the Asia-Pacific, especially to key markets like South Korea and Taiwan. With payment issues and potential secondary sanctions looming, trade has become increasingly complex. Logistical hurdles also contribute to these challenges. Limited rail and port capacities hinder Russia's ability to shift exports to markets like China and India, where buyers are wary of sanctions fallout. As a result, Russian coal companies face shrinking markets, forcing them to cut production or pursue riskier buyers, often at reduced prices. The sanctions create a significant gap in the global supply of high-quality coal. Countries such as Indonesia, South Africa, and Colombia struggle to match the quality of Russian coal, while Australia's production capacity remains limited. This imbalance is likely to drive up prices for high-calorie and coking coal, affecting various industries, particularly steelmaking. Furthermore, logistical challenges exacerbate the situation. The limited capacity of key transport routes, like the Baikal Amur Mainline and the Trans-Siberian Railway, restrict coal shipments to critical Far Eastern ports. Despite lower freight rates, high transportation and handling costs render export supplies unprofitable for many Russian companies, prompting some to suspend deliveries and shut down operations. The decline in Russian coal exports is becoming increasingly evident. In 2023, Exports fell to 212.2 million tons, a decrease from previous years, while the first half of 2024 saw a more pronounced drop to 116.6 million tons, a staggering 9% year-on-year decrease. This decline is driven by both sanctions and logistical issues, as well as a global shift towards alternative energy sources. The U.S. sanctions against Russian coal producers are reshaping the coal industry and causing ripple effects in sectors dependent on coal, such as steelmaking and energy production. As the situation develops, further declines in Russian coal exports seem likely, threatening to exacerbate challenges for global supply chains and leading to higher prices for coal worldwide. The long-term impacts are still unfolding, but one thing is clear. The landscape of the global coal market is changing and the repercussions will be felt far and wide.